Hello. Welcome to today's daily devotional reading from the Vitality for Daily Living, authored by the prophet Daniel Ejako Afari. Today is Monday, 15th of May, 2023, and our topic is the purpose of God's blessing. Our anchor scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, and I read, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and the rest shall be added unto you. Now the inspiration. God's idea for man's existence was to prosper him. God revealed this from the beginning of creation. God gave man dominion over poverty by enabling him to walk in surplus and excess in every area of his life. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. There is an ultimate purpose or a fundamental reason for every success or prosperity. God blesses us so that we can abound together unto every good works. The great works here refer to the kingdom business of God. Written in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and the rest shall be added unto you. The rest here means good health, financial sufficiency, material wealth, and all that pertains to life and godliness shall be added unto you. To seek first, therefore, means to concern yourself with, what's, with that which concerns God, sponsoring soul-winning programs of the church, television and radio broadcasts of the Word of God, outreaches, blessing men of God in their families, and all activities that enhance the expansion of the kingdom of God. It is all about others. God told Abraham, I will bless you, so you will be a blessing to others. In Genesis chapter 12. As the seed of Abraham, and for that matter Christians, there is nothing we do with our wealth on earth that can credit our accounts in eternity except that which concerns the kingdom of God. All of us, by our wealth, are stewards to everything we have, but possessors of nothing. We are to use our stewardship to enhance the kingdom business of God whilst on earth, so as to credit our accounts in eternity. And this is the ultimate purpose of our riches and wealth. Let us pray. Father, by your Spirit, lead me to serve you by knowing your purpose. May I not be ignorant in serving you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. To read the Bible in a year, for today, please read 2 Kings chapters 12 to 14 and John chapter 5, verse 25 to 47. Thank you, and God richly bless you.